Hey everybody, welcome to a new tutorial. Today we're gonna have a look at how to create a for each loop effect in geometry nodes. It's an effect that we use a lot inside of Houdini and we figured it would be really useful to be able to do it in Blender as well. We found a relatively easy way to do it and it's gonna be the most basic for each loop but we might build upon it at some point. All right, so let's dive into Blender. We're gonna start off with making a box and we're gonna create a geometry node network. First, we're gonna subdivide the mesh. Uh, two levels. And then let's create an extrude mesh and another one. And a random value. We're going to set this to Boolean and connect it up. And let's make a copy and plug it in here as well. Alright, next up we're going to create a multiply, uh, actually a math node, and we're going to set it to multiply. And another math node uh, also set to multiply. We're going to connect this with a value. And that's going to go into the offset skill. Okay. I'm going to set this to 0 0.05. And as you can see now there's a little bit of a randomized extrude going on. And next up we're going to create a delete geometry with another random value. Set it to boolean as well. And you can play with this value to see how much or little you want to remove. Alright, so this is our basic network. Actually, we will disconnect this one for now because we're going to make it uh, a group node which you can do by hitting Control G. Select it all and press Control G. And there's our group node. And let's connect this one again. Set this to five. And let's set the delete geometry to faces. So we get this uh, small little edges. We can rename our group inputs. I'm going to set this to iteration and let's change it to integer actually let's copy it over and change the iteration number and you can do this as many times as you want Yeah, you 
can just set these to your liking. You can either add more or less. This works pretty well. Oh, we need to use this value actually. Let's uh, set it to point 0.1. Alright, so... Uh, see how it renders. So let's create a sun. All right, let's set up a shader as well. And we're going to be using the subsurface scattering shader. Let's create a color ramp. And we're going to need a texture coordinate as well. Set this uh, scale to 2. Add this one to uh, one. And then we can start adjusting the color ramp to get the colors that we like. All right, so let's uh, select some colors. You can just play around with different values uh, I'm sure many different combinations are going to be nice something like this let's create another one this all right then change this to constant so we get the uh, solid colors and let's adjust our sun as well can set the strength a bit higher All right, that's it for, for each uh, setup. So what's happening is each uh, node group is repeating the previous one. So we could just copy and paste it as many times as we want. And the iteration number is a variable which we can use to, for example, make the effect more extreme each time we apply it. So here's another scene which I prepared before this tutorial and what I did was uh, link the iteration numbers to the timeline so that we can just simply go back and forth in time and see the effect. Uh, so to create this I just used the greater than node linked to the scene time that's also uh, a node and then used the uh, switch nodes to to either skip or not skip the next node. Uh, this scene is going to be available for Patreon subscribers. One important thing to note is that you can just keep reusing this scene as long as you just delete everything inside of the group node. You can just reuse the rest of the network 
because uh, the group nodes are instances of each other. So each adjustment you make is going to be reflected in the rest of the group nodes. So you will be able to preview your loop in real time. And this also works for the scene that we just built. All right, thanks for watching. And if you created your own effect with this uh, for each loop, then please join our Discord and share your results. See you next time.